Hey there guys and welcome into today's video where I'll be teaching you, yes you, how to get into skateboarding in 2023. So anyway, welcome into today's video. Like I just said, we are teaching you guys exactly how to get into skateboarding in 2023. And these are your um, subjects right here. If I put them in, that is, we will see. But um, yeah, anyway, let's just get on with the video. So first things first, let's talk about getting a board, right? Let's talk about getting a board like this. Now, firstly, you'll want to know the size of the board that you're wanting to get which for anyone who's getting into skateboarding, I would recommend an eight inch. It's usually the standard between the two more preferred sizes. So myself, this is an 825. Uh, and I did used to ride 775, which is the other common size. So what the size of the board is, um, usually eights, usually a mid ground for all sizes of feet, all that type of stuff. So. Like basically, if you've got longer feet, go up a size once you've learned like some of the basics, like you know manuals and all that stuff. Maybe always, but don't don't put pressure on yourself to actually learn always quick. Uh, anyway, we'll get into that bit later. So the next thing is where to buy your boards and like how to actually, I guess, start talking to people in the skate community. So if you have a friend in the skate community, in the skateboarding community, uh, you're fine. Um, talk to them. They will recommend some things for you because they know you better than, you know, some random person on the internet will. And yeah, so like talk to them, talk to them uh, about what you're wanting to do and all that. And they will recommend a board for you. Now, if you don't have anyone like that, now... I want to say this especially for parents watching if they're deciding to get their kid a, a skateboard. Walmart boards can be okay for a learning on, but I wouldn't recommend one. Just because they break easily and they can teach bad habits real quick. And they're always over tightened and all that stuff. Now I know you'll think they'll listen over time, which they will, but it'll either be way too loose and you can't tighten it again or stay way too tight for way too long and again this is where my problem personally with walmart boards and stuff comes in is again they just feel nasty on the concave and again we will go into a lot more detail on the concave and stuff like that about the boards in a different video but the other thing i will recommend 100 percent to anyone watching out there, go to a skate shop and talk to the skaters there. Uh, talk to the people, especially if it's a local skate shop, uh, talk to the people behind the counter, they all know enough to help you with, you know, picking out a board, picking out trucks, picking out wheels, you know, all that kind of thing that you would need to know. And they will help explain it a bit. Now, I think, where I'm going to go next is obviously we're going to build on top of this talking to skaters and stuff like that. Next we're going to talk about going to the skate park. Now I know a lot of beginners will have a lot of fear with going to the skate park especially if they know they're going to fall and you know just you know kind of fall kind of get hurt you know look a bit silly because they're you know beginning but the whole point of being a beginner is that you're starting to skate right. And we want as many skaters involved as we can get. So just go to the park. If you're struggling on anything, there's at least one skater there that will definitely help you and will have no problem helping you whatsoever. Um, again, my recommendation for asking people, ask people when they're like, at least on their break, not like while they're mid skating. Or if they're just messing about like in a corner or something, they'll possibly help you as well. Again, I know I mess about in the corner of the skate park with like some freestyle stuff and that from time to time when I'm feeling like I don't want to do street stuff, but I don't want to do, you know, full freestyle stuff. So I'll just mess about with little trick ideas that I've got. Uh, but yeah, basically just ask a skater there. Someone will help you. And that's kind of how you get into the skateboarding community really is by talking to more skaters. I know, funny coincidence that, eh? But um, yeah, so like, just, you know, look out for a skater who's 
you know, or some of them will come up to you and ask you if you're needing help anyway. So, again, just, you know, start a conversation with skaters, you know, and just have fun with it. That's, that's the main thing that you want to do is just make sure you're having fun with it. Don't worry about progression. Every little bit of progression is great, but just make sure you're progressing in something, whether that be the next step to an ollie, a little bit more length in manuals, you know, anything like that, like little small bits of progress. You want to progress one thing, even if it's just that size, like tiny, like absolutely tiny um, bit of progress and, you, and you're going to be fine. And I can promise you, you will be making more progress than you actually realise. Uh, but don't put pressure on yourself to say we're in a kick flip or we're in heel flips or tray flips or whatever. Don't set unrealistic goals. That is actually the next section, actually. Don't set unrealistic goals for yourself. And again, like, if you set two unrealistic goals, you're going to stress yourself out here and you're going to progress about this much when you, if you weren't, you'd be progressing about here and be close to that trick that you, that you were getting. But never put too much pressure on yourself to actually, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys know. You guys, you, you're right there, you know. You know what you're like. You know that you put pressure on yourself. And yes, I am actually talking to myself on that because I put way too much pressure on myself. So again, you're talking to a guy who's learned from experience. The more pressure you put on yourself, the slower you progress. I've been doing this for two years and I still can't even shove it. Now, that is because I've been putting too much pressure on myself to learn kickflips. And that's all I focused for like a year straight uh, last year. So, you know, your boy's getting back into it and he's getting better tricks first before he tries to kickflip again. Wait, he's, I still try a kickflip from now, now and again, but, you know, don't, don't make it your main focus is what I'm saying, really. Now, the second last thing I want to say is, you know, don't just try and go straight in for an ollie or straight in for a kickflip or straight in for a video flip, right? Learn it in steps. So do, you know, always, you know, shove it, 180s, all that. Small progression, right? Like I said before. And the best way to learn these bits of small progression are YouTube videos like this, uh, which by the way, uh, at some point during the summer, they will be coming to this channel. So uh, hit that subscribe button and put the notifications on, you know, if you want to see my tutorials on them and my little trick tips for people who would struggle the way I struggle. Now, uh, other places like Braille, uh, CCS and I think there's another one, but I can't, I'm drawing a blank on it. But those are great places to learn. Braille has been the best for it so far, from what I've seen. Um, I've seen a lot of skate tutorials. There are smaller channels and, you know, out there that do tutorials and give more specifics for their experience with always and tricks and all that. But, you know, just look for the trick and look on a bunch of tutorials, look at a heap of different ones, is my suggestion. This is how I learned like a lot of different tricks and tips with my always. So basically when I do my tutorial, it is going to be a lot of little tips and tricks that I learned from different videos. So yeah, just take little bits that you think apply to you and then add them to your like progression. So like, say you're not dragging enough, do the dragging practice step more than you would do the pop, you know? Like just simple things, small things, you know? And the last thing, the last thing I want to talk about actually is have a skate buddy. Always have a skate buddy when you're starting. Firstly, with that falling thing, you're going to fall a lot as a beginner. Expect falling. Falling is progression in skating. If you're not falling, you're not progressing, right? That is the basic motto of skateboarding in general. But if you fall bad because maybe you just got too ambitious with the trick, your skate buddies at least dare to, you know, 
call someone if you're that badly hurt or whatever. But don't worry, as long as you take your time and, you know, take, take all the practice steps, you're not going to fall too much. You'll still fall, because falling is learning, but just, you know, have a skate buddy there just in case, especially when you're trying more dangerous tricks, because then that way, at least you know there's someone there, you won't have as much of a fear. The other thing I could suggest is also wearing a helmet and stuff. But the reason the skate buddy is there as well is because they're kind of a rival as well. You're trying to be better than them. They're trying to be better than you. So if you're both beginners, you know, skate together all the time, challenge each other, play games of skate, get creative with your tricks. And that's how you progress. That's how you get into skateboarding in 2023. So I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know, comment down below what your favorite part of skateboarding is if you're an existing skater and comment down below what trick you're trying to learn right now as a beginner skater. I will start off with saying it here and I'm trying to learn a, I'm going back to learning shove it. So we're going to be trying shove it and I may do a vlog type thing where I do like a persistence type thing. But again, subscribe for that. And I will see you guys uh, all later. And as always, happy skating. All right, peace.